Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to an episode of Airport CEO. Where recently we've done a huge transformation of the whole entire airport. Uh, we've revamped all the terminals, we've brought more closer and pretty much created individual terminals if that makes sense. Um, I've managed to get all the issues we had with the baggage done. For some reason it broke. I have no idea how it broke, but that is now all up and running. The only thing I don't have is the baggage reclaim for this terminal at the moment, but I'm not too worried about that at the minute. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. I don't know if there's any passengers in the terminal. Oh, no. There's literally no passengers at the airport, whatever. We had a really weird issue where we couldn't skip because apparently there was passengers lying there, whatever. Um, this space here, we actually, guys, what should I do with it? Now, someone said, why don't we set up a really big store? Which I thought was a pretty cool idea, but it wouldn't really benefit this terminal. Or I can have the store before the airport, before like they go through anything. So that could be a cool idea. And what I did as well is I turned this room right there into a staff room slash staff zone slash all that kind of jazz uh just simply so we had again extra room for them to do what they've got to do so it's going pretty well it's going pretty beasty i think we're ready to finally accept um passengers back into the airport uh what i want to try and do today as well is work with this extending this further up so you know what We've got another million. Well, and then again, I'll probably spend the whole million right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is, in the infrastructure right now, um, it's just a normal public road, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to keep that there, that road going up, because that would be the divide going in. But how far should I bring this up? I think I'm going to bring it... Well, I'll bring it up to there for now. And I'll do the same for this one, so we can start slowly start building. We just need general general entrances. We just need more of this stuff just progressing up. And more down here as well. Now, we're going to get rid of this section. The only pain in the booty is they have to demolish that individually. So again, we'll just give it some sweet, sweet time. So we'll get all that done and we'll start accepting passengers. And then we've got all this brand new drop-off, pick-off points, all that kind of stuff uh, pretty much added in. So we start with the taxi ranks then. So which one's the taxi again, guys? Uh, this one. There we go. And we'll go one, two. How many did I get on this side? I got two. I got five. Okay. Uh, three, four. We'll just get four on each because we got smaller space to work with on this side. Uh, then we had just the, the general car drop-off points, didn't we? That's kind of what we had at that point there. I think we're going for an autosave bug right now. Well, Boop, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't want these called no more. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get a bunch of these down. Any momentum now? I should really be pausing while I'm doing this. That will kind of help us out slightly. So, yeah, these are car drop off points. And then we had like the buses. Now, the buses are a little bit bigger. Um,. We've got bus shelters, subway entrances. Subway entries, entrances might be the good thing to get done over here because we can slowly designate them going up. We've got all the buses on the opposite side. We'll keep that as it is. And I think we should get the subway then. So which is, where's the subway gone? Subway boy, there we go. And I think we'll do one there. And one there. And the reason for that is the sidewalk I can then cover all this area up with. And then we can create crossings there. Because we have the entrance just there. So we'll slowly just gradually build this all up. So bus stops then. I'm going to try and replicate as much as possible. So I'll do like a one space gap. And okay, I need a bit of space. Oh, I didn't mean to put that one there. For the crossing. Uh, bus stop. There we go. So leave that space there for the crossing. Which will happen there. And then I'll place a bus stop there. And a bus stop there when we have the space. So if we continue up here then. Um, we've got the crossing there. We'll, well, we'll create some more crossings as well. It's kind of a pain that we have to go through to get all this in. But you know what? We'll get the crossing in here as well. So 
I do a double cross in there and a double cross in there. Um, right, we'll have one like here and there to give a little bit of space, but I feel like I need to let them get the rest of the stuff initially removed, built, you know, just that kind of thing in general. Now, somebody mentioned to me, if I press F10, I kind of have to wait for this lag spike to disappear. Because the problem we got with um, building this, it, um, I can prevent a pause. There we go. Apparently, I can prevent or do something. Uh, I can turn on instant build. And when you press F10, this is all the kind of the juicy stuff that we don't normally see. Um, job task, clear jobs, regenerate job task, clear all floors. Um, construction, simulate construction, rebuild everything, some contracts. Simulate construction. Simulate material. Does that does that do what what I think it does? Aha! Oh, is that just literally built everything? I think it may have. I think that was just to, to slowly prevent the lag that we kind of get when we're trying to build things. But I think in you know in theory, yeah, it's kind of built everything for me and got away from that lag. But I think that itself has caused a huge lag right, spike. So that in instant general. building being done, there's not really much I need to do now, is there? In terms of planning, because it's kind of like done. I can then just drop everything in and get everything all set up. This that was weird, but. I think at this stage of the game, we kind of have to roll with it just because of how awkward it's going to slowly become. Right, if I at least build... Oh, yeah, it's literally instant build, isn't it? If I literally just then place down all this sidewalk so I can figure out where it's all going. I've got it paused as well. Is it costing... Well, yeah, it should be costing me money. Yeah. Do I need contractors? <laughs> Probably not, but we're going to keep them there anyway so that at least they feel like they're valuable and useful <laughs> to some degree. Um... Okay, let's just get that little section there done. Uh, which would mean this section here. And then the bus stop was going to go there. And the sidewalk, I might as well just complete it all the way to the end. You know. There we go. Oh, got to get this bit here done too. All the way up. And that's that kind of side of it done there, which is really handy. So we've got, got the cross in there, subways there, all the little drop-off points. Beautiful. And now we just got to finish this. And so this is going to be the weird, well, not a weird one, but the one we kind of have to now work with. The fact that sidewalk will push up to the, actually, you know what? No, that's beautiful. It does exactly what I want it to do. Just have a medium. We'd have two. There and there. Does its job. So we've got a subways there, which is perfection for those guys. Don't need to worry. And then it's what we do up to here. I don't know how we're going to cross that area off at the end. We need to probably build a fence or a wall or something like that. So what are my options in terms of infrastructure? That I could potentially uh, set up. Uh, we got walls. Is that really it? Airport infrastructure. I'm sure there was like a fence you could like originally build as well. But I can't quite remember where that goes or where you find that. Not template, security, desk, staff, conveyor belt, no. Um, no. Airport infrastructure, I, no. Right, we're just going to have to, for now, build a wall. Oh, no, that needs to be on, on, on a thing. Oh, there's the fence. It's right there in front of you, boy. All right, let's build that fence kind of across to there. It's something that I should have had in anyway. Oh, I messed that up there big time, haven't I? Right, I'm just going to pull it to there and just leave it as that. Just delete this part. So then I know the actual boundaries. So infrastructure again, sidewalk. Now if I at least get this side all the way up to the top. And this, and we'll bring this down to here. So there's plenty of room to, you know, do things. And because it's quite a long stretch, I'm going to say, do I need to put multiple subways? But if I do one up here, because it's like dead space there, we just need one up here, which will, well, two up here, should I say, uh, that will really benefit from what we're doing right now. So if I drop one there, 
And where's that? That's two after, isn't it? So that will go there. And then, yeah, leave that as it is. How much money have we got now? 1.5 million. All right, remember that, guys. Uh, what we're to now? Yes, well, <laughs> I was going to say what we're up to now, like, as if sidewalk is expensive. So just place all this in, and then what's remaining then is what we can squeeze in for more drop-offs and stuff like that. So there's plenty of room to get more in. We just need to... Now, I think... How did I do it down there? I didn't. Even, I left tr like a space for trees and stuff, didn't I? I'll probably do the same here. But what I'll do is we'll create that there as the sidewalk. So then the public road would go here and here. And then the crossover point will be there and there. And then we obviously we'll have other ones going up. It just depends on the spacing of what we're putting inside. So let's get this all sorted then. So did I start with taxes? Yeah, okay, we'll start. Hang on, what was the gap? We left the one gap. Okay. Like I'm going to make this identical. I don't know how I'm going to do it. All right. That's four, five. I'll do six because I know we've got a lot of space to play around with. And it don't cost us a fortune, these, so we've got plenty of, like, manoeuvring to do. So sidewalk there. We'll do a two gap here. So we can get... There we go. That in. That in there. Which will be our little crossover point. Oh, do you know what I should have done? I should have actually not done that. Because I've got to also figure out where the bus stops would go. Oh, and I can't... Get it all in because of that. Oh, I'm so, so foolish, boys. So foolish. So, bus stop, one there. And if one went there... Well, space... Hmm. Right, if I did that there... Delete that. Did that one there... We're going to have, I mean, it's a little bit awkward spacing, but we're going to have more in general anyway, just because of how it's set up. So that'll just walk around there. I don't think I'll do anything there. I've got to delete this. So I've got all the space in the world, but yet I'm struggling to create like a, a, a decent layout. There we go. Because I do want the spaces in between them. Because you don't want them to be combined so close together. So... To you there, to you there, to you there. And yeah, I think that's pretty sound. That's good. We leave that little dead space there to plant down trees and stuff like that. All kind of jazz. And then back to the bus stops then. Oh, I can't do it again. I keep forgetting. Seniac, boy. That's the one thing I forgot is the, the bus stops are like two squares wide. So then bust up. So we'll leave the space there, and then we'll do generally one space now. And I'll just do it there, because mm, I could leave that. Now we'll do it there as well, because I could put like subway stops or something like that. I don't know, guys. I don't know anymore. But plenty of bus stops. So at least then we're on top of our public transport scenario. So car stops then. Four, five, and six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got a load dropping off there. We've got this space here, which I could pretty much do more of the same again. Uh, it could be taxis. It could be more buses, but I know we're going to get some more subway entrances in. So if I do one there and one there. It's a shame you can't get them, like, on a fixed, you know, system. Because that would have been kind of... Oh, that'd be good to squeeze in one there and there as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if I bulldoze that and that, right? Again, just bear with me a second. And where's the subway? There we go. Subway entrance. There we go. Sidewalk, and I got to now fill in all these little gaps, nooks, and crannies. 
And then we've got so much kind of public transport infrastructure that they can't complain. They can't be holdups. I have gone above and beyond to get this perfection set up. Right? I have gone above and beyond. <laughs> like literally over the top. So what we'll do now is we'll create a little crossing just here. Because we've got one there. We'll do a single one there just to kind of fill in the little bit of a gap. Which, oh, it's not a small one. It's still a medium. What am I doing? Boom. Boom. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. And then we'll just get a little bit of each then. So do one, two, three, four. Right, we'll go with six. And then car stops. One, two, three, one. Oh, you fool. I wish there was, there was like an undo button. That would be so much more beneficial. Um, car stop. There we go. And then finish this up here with the sidewalk to connect it. There we go. So look at that then, guys. Look at that now as an entrance. <coughs> As I slowly choke. Um, now, think of the building that we kind of had in here, in here in general. And that's all replaced with this as an entrance point. Holy moly. And we've got almost one million. So I did say once it gets down to a million, we'll open the airport back up. So I think that's what we do then. Operations airport is now open for business. But I don't know if all the stands are... No, yeah, all the stands are still closed. So let's open these. So we'll start with this one to begin with and slowly bring them in. So if I press play then and just let it figure out the game. The game has to figure out its calculations uh, while we wait for this lag spike to go. Does that mean we could potentially get rid of all workers? Like not not all workers. I mean, all like the construction contractors. Does that make sense? If we have that instant build on, <laughs> you get it. Maybe, maybe. I mean, it saves a bill. It's 176 less people in the airport. <laughs> but I mean, we could. But we just got to wait for this lag spike to disappear. So hold on. Right, there we go. Things are moving. Things are shaking. It's happening, boys. It's low-key happening. Um, right, I don't know where the construction... Uh, the, the, that's it, I don't know where the construction has went. I was on this view, wasn't I? So people now come into the airport, which it's only that one side that's available. Or are they still bringing in? Yeah, considering that there's only pretty much four stands, I'm seeing a lot of people coming in. Anybody else feel that? <laughs> Going to sit upstairs as well for no particular reason. They're going through security over here. Ah, oh, because they can go down there because of the passing through. Wait, they really shouldn't be doing that. Oh, wait, I was meant to... Oh, dear God. Hold on. Close the airport. Guys, I have to close the airport again. F10. I just realized something. I did notice in here there's send all passengers home. There we go. Guys, I just realized something. All right, if I pause. Zones. Remember, I unzoned it as staff kind of room only kind of thing because of... People were getting stuck, and I forgot to rezone it. This passway, the passage through here is, should be only staff only. Right, where's my staff? Staff zone. Oh, man. I completely messed up there, didn't I? So you might get all the ding-ding-dings happening again there, but I'm hoping I've just sent everybody home anyway. Um, right. I'm going to open back up now, and then hopefully that wasn't too much of a huge pain for everybody. 
because people would check into like here for flights over there and that literally literally guys that literally mess up the whole system then it kind of counter reacts the reason why we set it up like this we set it up so there's short walking distances oh dear god right okay <laughs> give us some time then to kind of sort this out so it's new aircraft coming in are we all scheduled up and all that yeah we got that normal stuff coming in so people are going to be coming in as and when anyway Good little walk through ways there for staff only so they can get to where they need to get to and we're only really going to see people checking in on this side we shouldn't see anybody on these sides so you will get okay so it looks like you will get people coming down here this is a way there to get out to this platform platform terminal sorry this is a train station boy right okay and i feel like we need to set up queues and stuff don't you Build a queue. I mean, I could have wiggled it, but it's more fun. Straight lines. <laughs> Legit should have wiggled it to be more efficient. We'll just see how it goes. So, yeah. Now we get in the ding, 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 ding. Which, of course, shouldn't be happening. But it is happening. Because people are still checking in at the wrong places. It makes no sense. They, they, they should through this security. Can I select? Is it? Right, okay. It's happening. The security is saying, yo, Seniac. What have we gone to this menu for? They're going, yo, Seniac, um, sort it out, mate. <laughs> Pretty much the security is allowing us to, well, allowing this to kind of be used for these ones, which they shouldn't be able to access, which is what we get in the issues caused. Okay, I think the f do, I'm all over the place now, it's like I don't even know what I'm doing, is get rid of this as a secure area. So at least the areas don't touch. But yet somehow that security gate is still being used for that. I don't want you to. P please don't do it like that. Okay. Oh, okay. It's now updated. It's now updated. So if it updates like that, and if I deleted that wall, does it still... I'm just wondering if I can still get it to be used as the staff passageway. And if it doesn't work at all, then we'll just completely get rid of it. But it is going to require me now then to send all passengers back home. Send them all home. So stop all that ding, 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 ding happening. And I don't think we can, I don't think we can have that as a passageway between the two terminals because... You know, they'll check in like that. And the same thing's going to have to happen over here as well. So, yeah, I don't think I can get my sly little pass-through route. It's not going to work, is it? Because once they're in a secure zone, that's not a secure zone. So they can only pass through it as a secure zone. But obviously, they, when I remove the secure zone, they can't then pass through. Or when I do add a secure zone in, passengers can also pass through. It doesn't really work. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, you, you kind of get how it works and really, yeah. But we're back up and running anyway. So all new passengers coming in now should be for potentially all new flights in the long run. These are still set up for other thingy-majigs, but I'm not sure when it allow or when it updates. Did I have to build a wall? Like, what did I have to do to kind of get that up and running again? Or does it manually just sort itself out? Oh, 
Oh no, it's because this room here, I just realized. This room is part of the secure zone. So if I then where's security? Got rid of that room as a secure zone, then I don't think anybody would use it. But then what I'd have to do is kind of create like my very own security way of getting through it. But that is literally, guys, a pain. That would literally be such a huge pain just to get him to pass through. It's not even worth it at that point. Right. So now that's all set up for the individual ones. I didn't realize how much of a mess that originally made. So we should be good. We should be good to go. So yeah, like I said, then all the people now coming in, it's hilarious that they go and sit upstairs sometimes, but it, it is what it is. All the people now coming in for this terminal one that we have set up. Got a few little queues set up, which I should wiggle them. Um, I get a little bit more seating in just to kind of benefit us. That's awkward how it's kind of slightly off, isn't it? Um, all right, let's do it like this then. So I had one there, one there. Just getting a little bit more seat in. Bulk it up a bit more, boys. So there's plenty of seat in there just kind of mess around with. That's all good then. People are checking in. It's doing great so far. It's doing great so far. So yeah, you will get... Hang on, what's all this? Is it all staff members? For some reason they want to go up the escalators to come back down the escalators. Like that makes any sense whatsoever. You make no sense why you're doing that. Why are they doing that? I don't think we'll ever know. I don't think we'll ever know, but the sheer amount of people coming through, they're passing through wonderfully. It's doing doing its job. That's all good. We need to get in uh, information boards, don't we? Now, we have a couple, but we're going to need some over here. So I'll dot a couple there. So I don't know what's going on, what's crack a boys. And they're in. They're going to do their thing. We should really get some new contracts for these stores. Sign you. Sign you. Stores will be open. Passengers are there. Glorious. So this terminal is now pretty much up and running to a certain extent. Okay, okay, okay. So now then, all it requires is to op us to open up these. So open, 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 and open. So we're down to 700,000. Again, we've got to do it in stages. We don't want to overpower it too much. And we're going to get, have to get some seating down as well. So, go there. I don't know why I did it like that, but hey-ho. And if that went there, that would go there. Okay. Okay. Just trying to get it all up and running to how I did it in the other one. Because this one's pretty much like a, a mirror image flip. Boom. So get those in for now then. Then desks. We want the information desk. So we get a couple of these down. There we go. And we just wait for staff to take their place. So they check in here. Going through security. Oh, well, we've got to get these stores now up and running. So I don't care who you are. As long as you pay me rent and a portion of your profits. <laughs> yes. So this is now back and running. Glorious. Again, it'll take a, a, a couple of minutes before we start making money again. Because you've got to give time for the aircraft to come in and all that kind of jazz. But this is good so far. This is good progression. There's people up there. There's people already up here waiting. And passing through. All right. So we, we're kind of almost semi back up and running. Um, back to seating then. Would I be able to... Oh, do you know what? I should be able to create a template. 
like that there. And is that central? That's central there. And I could drop this down here as well. To save me a bit of time. So we've got the chairs in that they can sit down on. Everyone's falling in out. We need to do like a duty free store in here as well. But this is good. How often are we seeing people use all of this? There's people now waiting. So the fact that we've got more disperses the amount of people waiting, which is great. What's the undercover, under, you know, underground car parking? Like, yeah, we've still got plenty of spaces to fill up at the moment before we have to go down the road of adding in more. So that's all good. That's definitely all good, boys. So let's get the information desk over here then. We've almost got this area then set up. So desks... Uh, information on the big boy ones there we go and then the seat in let's go for the small and just gradually start placing this in as we pass up before we can then open up this Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're now to 800,000, pushing 900,000. So even with just the two terminals alone, we're now starting to make money. But the fees are really high in the airport. So let's bring the fees down then in the economy. Let's uh, bring them back down to normal. Because now we're pretty much going to take a 50% pay cut. Because we're literally half in the prices of everything almost. I wish there was like a reset button where you can get everything back to as it was. I'm not too bothered. It's a little bit under and over. But this will make all of the airlines and the passengers and everybody happy. So we can build up a positive reputation again. Yeah. Why not? So down. Bring those in the middle. In the middle. Oh, there we go. And then the last one. So then we'll see if we can turn a profit with just these two terminals with the cost cut down there. So we're waiting for the extra security guards to come in here. There we go, where that one will now open and alleviate some of the stress from the other ones. That's running smoothly. And do you reckon it's time? I know we don't have the um, the baggage claim system on there just yet. I don't even have the... Where did it come through on this one? Up there. I don't even have it set up at all. But, I mean, it's okay for now. But if I now get these open... What are those issues there? Someone stuck? Someone lost? No available check-in desks? For who? Hold on. For AS499. Who is AS499? Is it here? Stand free. The aircraft's not here yet. It's going to stand free. Is stand free over here? Yeah, is there no check-in desk because literally build a queue, connect baggage bay. We haven't connected the baggage bay anyway. I'm going to connect the check-in desk, have I? I always forget what I've got to connect and what I don't have to connect. Yeah, they're all connected to them. So this would eventually be connected to, like, there. Wait, would it be those? Hold on. 
It wouldn't, would it? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, it is them. So I don't know whether it's because... We've got to do it like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm getting connected anyway, so at least they can put baggage on the plane. We just can't currently take the baggage off. Which is not a huge issue at the minute. But we'll see. Right, they're now all connected then. So like I said, yeah, they can put the baggage on the plane. We just can't take it off of that terminal at the minute. Uh, so again, let that just tick along, let it do what it's got to do, and then we'll kind of see where we stand then with terms of making money, making profit, if we are at this stage. So let's get these stores up and running then. Uh, excuse me. Oh, okay, we haven't got an actual zone for them, have we? Have we got one for the bathroom? Yeah, let's open up the bathroom. Well, the bathrooms are open, right? Yeah. That was kind of weird there for a second, wasn't it? Okay, then, so shops. This is the shop here this is the food there sign um I'm just go for like someone whoever it doesn't really matter uh boom there we go so that'll start paying us a little bit of ground rent for that store get a little bit of money from sales make all of our uh, passengers super happy and now all of the symbols down here have gone green so the airport as an overall we're in, we're doing better. We're doing better. Baggage loaded on aircraft is a little bit lacking lately. So again, we just got to give it time to you know run through things before we can slowly increase and improve the reputation. But we don't have the the tiles on this one, do we? In the flooring, um, I believe it was the bigger tiles. I could be wrong. There we go tiles now all in so it makes me wonder why do they come up the escalator to go back down here like they walk up to turn around to go back down are they, are they, do they like escalators do they just do it for the funsies <laughs> is that is that what they do it could be it, it well could be yes. they just want to do it for the funsies now what's going on with my security situation are we always are we slightly lacking in the security situation do i need to hire more security guards Is it statistics? Is it economy operations? I always forget which one it is. I gotta look at to find out the vehicle job, um, employee jobs. Always lacking on the uh, janitor aspect. Oh, ramp agents. So okay, we, we're kind of borderline on that. There, it flashes between each one. Where am I going? Staff, applicants, ramp agents. Right, let's get a couple more of those guys hired. So I think things are now running smoothly. They're now running smoothly. So funds, let's do it on the day. So the previous day we made 300,000. On this current day, we are currently um, 30, 95 now in profit on the current day. So we are making money. It's like I keep spending a lot of money. I could now... I could now dismiss all of our contractors, which in return would save us a little bit of money. They're all coming in hot and heavy. And now the employee test jobs, how are we doing? Still need more janitors. We can never have enough janitors. That is the huge problem. Oh, no. Ramp agents. Ooh. Was we okay there for a second? Hmm. Nah, I think we're all good, boys. I think we're now legit all good. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. But we really have now. We really have now pushed it to its limits. I don't really think there's much else we can do in the airport anymore. Is this the end? I don't know, guys. I'll let you decide in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.